All right, back to Awakening Wood. <laughs> if you remember, it was right at the beginning of the day when we went into the White Flower Garden. And so, we have a whole day ahead of us. Uh, let's grab... Actually... We're going to grab one White Pikmin, because over here, if I follow the treasure gauge, there's a treasure in that pot. Now, it's kind of odd because nothing else would indicate that there's something here, but the treasure gauge does, and the white Pikmin tells you that there's something there. So we're going to set one on him, and then I'm going to grab the rest of them and try to open up some of the the areas here because I, I need to get some stuff going. Uh, let's... Oh, hello. These are ravenous whisker pillars, and their primary function is not to eat Pikmin, but be uh, very annoying to me. They'll try to eat the berries, and I should kill them. But they're not actually dead. They get the last laugh, because I can carry them back to base, and they're clearly alive. Okay, uh, let's... Get some red Pikmin to work on that. Alright, uh, I need white Pikmin. Come on. I have a lot of ground to cover today, actually. Surprisingly. Even though we just got a new variant of Pikmin, and you wouldn't think that would open up a whole lot. It actually does. Uh, let's see. Let's get... Let's get most of them, or... Yeah, let's get all of them onto this gate over here. Because this is what I need ultimately to progress. There's one of... Uh, there's the other half to the, uh, what is it called? The geographic pro uh, projection. And I need that in order to open up the next area, so we'll set them up working on that. And actually just leave Olimar here. And then Louie, what can you do? Actually, what can he do? He can't do anything. Okay. Well, I guess I'll go back, put some of the purple Pikmin away, and then go grab that strawberry? Maybe? Oh, come on, guys. Really? Really, you're better than this. There was there was a treasure, right? Or a, a berry right there. Okay, let's kill these guys. And then... Uh, yeah, let's just put the put the purple Pikmin back. The white Pikmin go back in the onion, or in the ship, like white, uh, like purple Pikmin do. Okay, that's, that's coming. You can barely see it. So I guess I'll, I'll just leave that be for now. And this is the only thing I can do, actually. Is grab this strawberry. I can throw my other white Pikmin. Wait, why do I have another white Pikmin? Did I- was there not a white Pikmin there? I thought there was. Oops. Well, it's actually poking above ground, so I can get the other Pikmin to help, and then move the- that one white Pikmin over to the- the other Brit- gate, sorry. I always call them bridges. Okay, let's throw all of the Pikmin onto this, and get a strawberry. <laughs> I forgot what this is called. Seeded something? Sunseed berry. I was- Close, I guess. <laughs> okay, get on this. Get on it. Get it out of the ground. It's just a bulb, but apparently it's worth money. Somehow. <laughs> as as my gardener, the gardener part of my audience is screaming at me. Of course it's worth money. That's a that's a rare d d d d beer berry d plant. How could you be so foolish? And I'm sorry, I don't know my plants as well as I should. And we have a coconut? <laughs> Looks like a coconut. Pilgrim bulb. Does, is it a strawberry bulb? That would make sense because they have, sh have shooters that will spread. I don't, I don't know what that's supposed to be. All right, let's take my white Pikmin here. I have one, yeah, I have one white Pikmin. And we'll take it over to that gate. And then get on to getting. That's really the only thing we can do. Everything else is closed off to us. Oh wow, that's coming along nicely. Oh, I know why. So, the gates... Oh, no, 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 no. The gates actually have a color coding system. The black ones are harder to take down, while the white ones are easier. And that's why this is going so, so quickly. Emergency! Pikmin are suffering! If you blow your whistle with B, you may be able to help them! So, all hazards... That's, that's one of my complaints about this game. 
is that every single hazard is kind of the same. I mean, it affects Pikmin in the exact same way. They run around, and if you don't help them soon, then they'll die. There's one hazard that is the exception, which we will be getting to when we encountered it, obviously. But they're all kind of the same. Oh, oops. And on that too. Alright, there's a creeping chrysanthemum over there, which I need to defeat, but not with my white with my uh, white Pikmin. That's a little bit foolhardy, so we'll grab everyone but the whites. I think I I don't have any oh I do have one white. He tried to sneak in my group. There we go. Alright, creeping chrysanthemum time. Go! Oh, kill him, kill him, kill him. Oh boy, lost one. But we managed to kill him. All right, we'll have we'll have the Reds take that back after they build this bridge. Now, bridges in this game in Pikmin, well, in Pikmin One, they were a bit buggy, and Pikmin had a rare chance of well, actually, it wasn't even that rare. They had a chance of falling through the gate or the bridge. Now I can't get that name right either. They had a random chance of falling through the bridge to the water below, and in this game, that chance is still there, but it's much smaller. Wait, are they already done? What? What? Wow. They worked quickly. That's that's faster than I remember. Also, does that require purples? I would assume it does. I mean, why would it not? It's the other half. It should weigh exactly the same. Fascinating. This fo this object is highly similar to the one you found in the Valley of Repose. By examining this further, I may be able to extrapolate new planetary data. 101 Pikmin? Oh, it needs to be dug out first. 101. How did I know? How did I know that the half would be exactly the same weight as the other half? Alright, just to prove to myself that I'm not playing myself. Yeah, we can't do anything here. There's poison and water in our way. Oh, Wally Wog. The first sighting. It's, this is it, guys. That's a Wally Wog. We'll be hating them with all of our guts later on. All right, let's leave all of my reds here, and then go grab some purples. And once I have purples, then I can go take that back, and hopefully, I don't think that will end the day. <gasps> oh, hello. There's so many things that require my attention in Pikmin, and this is one of them. We have buds! We have budded Pikmin! Aren't they cute? They're my buddies. Haha, -ha, pun. I Sorry, I can't do the stupid pun voice, because... As you can hear, my voice is currently dead. Alright. We have our purples. Let's go back, get the atmospheric pro projection, I believe it's called? No, not atmospheric. Geographic. There we go. And actually, this day is going much, much better than I thought it would. I thought we would be much more crunched for time with what I needed to accomplish. Taking down two gates, going in a cave. But no, it was actually pretty good. Okay, this is almost down. There are no enemies on the other side to to harm the whites. This is going along rather well. I guess all that's left is raising up our numbers and getting some spray. Neat. Okay, how, how are these picking going? They're not, they're lazy. My goodness. No. Get up. Just get up in there. Thank you. You guys, what are you doing? You're lazy. No, get up in there. Uh, I'm glad that it's not automated. In in Pikmin 3, they made that task automated, so they will go to and fro and grab the berries, but still, it is a little bit cumbersome in this game. Yeah, it's a little bit cumbersome, partially just be due to the AI. Okay, so we have everything that we need. Like I said, just pick up numbers, and then we're good. Let's get these. Is there... Are there any other Peliposies? No. Ah, no. Get on that. There you go. Are there any more Peliposies besides these ones? I guess not. Wow. Well, I guess, actually, this is a good idea. I need to bring my Pikmin over to Olimar, because he's almost done. And because there's a treasure over there that I need to collect. All right, we have the other half, which is called Geographic Project. Wait, what was the other one called? What? 
What was the other one called? I don't remember. This hemisphere also contains a hidden microchip. I will attempt to decrypt the stored data. Decoding complete. As I surmise, this chip contains additional topographic data. The data has been uh, inputted in my database. I shall name it Survey Chart. Uh, I don't want to see that. That means the game is almost done. <laughs> Get that out of my sight, game. I don't want to see how close I am to completing it. Alright. Uh, I'll throw a couple more Pikmin onto... No, 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 don't go away, don't go away! There we go. I'll throw a couple more Pikmin onto this task. Because you can never have too much. Well, I, I guess you can. You can never have too much Ultra Spicy Spray. It's really useful. And so... I'll get some more of that. Oh, they're done. They're done. Good. Very nice. Alright, so there's a scale over here. Come on. There's a scale over here, and uh, let's throw all the Pikmin up here, except for... I don't know, like, two? Three? Uh, I guess all the purples? Can they even get up there? Oh, they can. I just have to be spaced out a little bit better. Okay, careful of them pushing each other. And... Oh, actually, we just need one purple. Because they weigh ten times as much. Haha. -ha. Okay, throw it on the other side of the scale. It'll lift us up. Let's just dismiss Olimar here. So we can save that purple. Oh, oh, yes, yes, yes. Okay. Um, let's throw Red Pikmin onto this. We have a die here. And then we have a new berry! This is... Well, I'll let the game introduce it. Okay, get on that. Quickly. And then, Olimar... You can... Uh, just throw this up there. And then, you're done for the day. Alright, we have Ultra Bitter Berries. And these guys are, are quite special. In fact, uh, let's have... Olimar go around, I guess? I mean, actually, he doesn't really need to, I guess. Come on, get on, get on the berries. Yeah! These things are unique for Pikmin 2. Ultra Bitter Berries. Astonishing! This purple berry contains an ultra bitter essence. It does not appear to have any monetary value, but I shall re research potential uses for it. Bring me in another specimen. So just like last time, we, we need to bring him more. I believe 10 is what we need to... Yeah, 10 is what we need to get another... To get the results on his research. Or its research. Okay, we have a die worth 100 Pocos. The Chance Totem. Chance Totem. That's a big die. Alright, let's take back five more. And they're in base, remember, so they're completely safe from the end of day. And I've accomplished everything I wanted to. I'm kind of surprised, actually. Alright. This should be enough. Also, look how much faster the white Pikmin carries the berries. Or carries anything, actually. Like, that was maybe twice the speed? Yeah, so they're pretty useful, especially when trying to beat the clock like I am now. Especially if I'm trying to beat the clock with a captain to get him to a certain location quickly. They move much faster than captains do right now, and so... I can use them to traverse large distances. Captain Olimar, I have completed my research on the purple berries you discovered. Behold, the Ultra Bitter Spray! It's untested, but I believe it will be highly effective. Approach enemies and press up on the D-pad to spray them. When necessary, I can produce one bottle of spray from ten berries. Press start pause to contact me. Yeah, 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 we've done this before. So, unlike the Spicy Spray, which works on Pikmin, this works on enemies, and it will freeze them in place and allow us to attack them without them having any chance to, to attack back. As a trade-off, though, it actually boosts their defense a little bit. And I'll probably be demonstrating this next episode. But it's, it's interesting. And it, this is the only game that it appears in. Pikmin 3 did not get this. And I think it's because it's really strong. Uh, they tried to balance it in this game by making it hard to find. Oh my goodness! I made a mistake. How did I almost do that? If I hadn't seen those Pikmin, I would not have, have grabbed them. Wow. Wow, pal. 
You are a silly goose. You're a special flower. Okay, let's use the map this time to properly tell. Oh, also, there's that. But are there any loose Pikmin? There are none here. Those don't count. I got these. No, that is it. Cool. Now, actually, the ship said that there are some loose Pikmin. And, in fact, I can't take out 100 Pikmin, so that kind of proves it. That is because they're over here. There are five blue specks over all the way over here and a blue onion so once we gain access to that area then we will know we will we will find a new variant okay will this grow back one more time i don't think i can get yeah it, it will grow back one more time i don't think i can get another spray but i can oh snap come on come on work fast oh i mentioned it earlier in pikmin 3 they made this task completely automated and for better or for worse, like, I do like that it's automated in that it makes things really easy, but I don't like how easy it makes things. It's kind of... Uh, let me check one more time. Okay, I'm good. I don't like how easy it makes everything. Come on, hurry! Okay, let's whistle him. I, I didn't want to take the chance to make them not be count as being in base but like i said it makes things really easy so that you can just throw five pikmin or or however many plants there are you throw pikmin you throw five eat for each plant and then you just let them be and they will go to and fro from the the ship to the plant and they'll gather all the berries you need so you just have a constant supply of sprays now they balance this a little bit by making them spawn i think a little bit more uh a little it takes longer for them to regrow on the plant but it still feels kind of dumb when you throw five five Pikmin on there and you don't think about it again for the rest of the day and you just keep getting a steady supply it eh, it, it kind of left a sa huh, left a spicy or bitter taste in my mouth that I, I like it in this game where you have to devote some time and management over to collect collecting the berries I like that more okay so without the way, so ends today. We lost a couple of Pikmin, but we gained more than we lost. We also got 15 white Pikmin. Lost five more to battle. And yeah, we have 179 Pikmin now. Three kinds of Pikmin. And a new area to explore. Olimar, good work so far. I hereby promote you to perennial manager. Press X to divide up work and Y to delegate more to your subordinate leader. Hope all goes smoothly. Ho ho! Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed today and in any capacity, please click like. And if you didn't, then drop a comment telling me how I could make tomorrow so that you would like it. I release new days of Pikmin 2 every Tuesday and Thursday. And I'll see you guys next time for another Pal Plays Pikmin 2. No, it's not dead. What? 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 Look at that health bar. Look at that health bar. Look at it. He's dead. Ah. Uh, okay, well, I'm actually going to try and show this off then. And it looks like a burn victim. It's terrible. It's it's absolutely terrifying. It's all malshapen from its own fire. It has one eye that's smaller than the other, and it has fire that hurts. Ow. Okay.